I'm drawing down on the end of my first half in college. I'm about to finish my second year, and normally it's four years, so I'm about halfway done. And normally people think of you having a huge growing experience, like learning a lot, meeting new people, having new experiences, and I haven't really done any of that. I really haven't. I've basically just stagnated in life, or in some ways I've gotten worse. It's a really scary thought that I haven't achieved much of anything, or I haven't done much of anything. I've always been a very anxious person, I felt. Like, I'm terrified to talk to people. If someone says, hey, I'll text you in a few hours and see what's going on, that scares me. That scares me. I don't know why. I don't know why that affects me like that. But it's like I'm afraid of the real world. But if I am alone for too long, I start to get depressed. So what do I do? I go on the internet. It's worth noting that about the time that I started college is also about the time that I started YouTube. I started uploading videos like a month after I got to uh, college because I was just terrified of not having any sort of control. It was like a place to vent or a place to channel negative energy and make something positive out of it, feeling like I had some control, feeling like I could say something and people would actually listen. And I don't know. And in a way, I suppose you could say I've made some friendships through YouTube. There are people who have reached out to me or I've reached out to them. Um, and I have connections in various ways. Like, I, I used to talk to people on Skype. I used to talk to subscribers on Skype. I don't really use Skype anymore. I might use it at some other point. But for now, I don't. Um, I've added a few on Facebook. I've had conversations with them. But it, the thing about the Internet is it's just not real. It really isn't. I mean, you don't know anything about me. I could be... I could really be the happiest person on earth and just lying to your face to get pity points. Or I could be a horribly depressed person who just hates everything in their life and wishes that they were dead, and you wouldn't know that either. It, it, I, I can lie about anything. I could be some super rich millionaire who just is a beach bum and has nothing better to do with their time because why do anything else? I've got everything all set. I have no problems. I could have all the problems in the world. I could be super impoverished. I could have no money for food. Everything could be going wrong. You don't know about my physical condition. You don't know about my psychological condition. You don't know anything about me except what I've told you in videos, but I could have just lied that whole time. You don't know anything about me. And when I think about it, I don't think that anybody really knows anything about me. And maybe that's because I don't know anything about me. I haven't taken the time like normal people to explore what I am, what my interests are, who I am. And that's very scary. Especially since there's a certain point where I feel like everybody has developed and you feel like you haven't, like you haven't gotten to that point and you're just behind everyone. And like, is there time to catch up? I don't know. I don't think so. So it's like, am I just trapped? Or is there even a problem at all? Maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. But it's just a, I guess that's just a depressing thought I've had lately. Like, I, I can't work in the real world, so I've just been investing everything on the internet, and that's pointless because nothing matters here. Nothing really matters. There's no point to this. So why do I keep investing so much into it?